We're Eamon and Beck, and we love traveling the world in our tiny home on wheels. But with the global travel advisory in effect, we found ourselves at home ready to convert yet another van. Since this is our third time starting from scratch, we're bound to be experts, right? Aim it. <laughs> I had to keep shaving and shaving and shaving because I was paranoid I was going to do the same thing from last time. <laughs> That's why you keep a lady around. Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday through. Thursday and Friday and Saturday too. We'll look for a home that is just right for you. Monday through Sunday and the whole week through. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll find a home that's just right for you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Monday through Sunday and the whole week through. It's Monday. Cheers, Camarito. Cheers, baby boy. Happy Monday. Good morning, friends. Morning, everyone. It's Monday. Feeling ready for another week of van build fun. Yeah, we had a pretty productive, product, productive week last week <laughs> where we got all the strapping done, we got most of the electrical done, and we're feeling like we're in a pretty good spot. And the coolest thing happened to me this morning. I woke up and Instagram reminded me. Oh. I just had it open. No, it's okay. Instagram shared that like three years ago, we were right smack in the middle, like almost the same point of our van build of Trinity, the very first time uh, we were building out a van. Hey everyone, it is Sunday, May something. Beginning of May, I think it's the 6th or 7th or 8th or something like that. <laughs> um, we are back working on the van today. It feels so surreal for everything to have come so full circle. You guys may or may not know that Amy and I originally built out Trinity to travel across Canada selling tea. We wanted to grow our chai business outside of Toronto and that was it. Like it. The filming was just an add-on. We'd always kind of done little bits of filming and to see where our lives have taken us in these past three years. And to be back here building another van yeah. is just so crazy and so cool. So May the 4th be with you. <laughs> it's May the 4th. Anyways, I'm feeling really inspired and I think that's just really exciting because who knows where we'll be in three years. And thanks to all of you for helping make this a part of um, our past three years. So we got lots to do this week. Yeah. So much to do this week. First cup. Morning, thank you for calling to Joe Lauren. Hey there, I'm here for a pickup. Yeah, one window. Windows. And to be honest, it's kind of a weird situation where I ordered them on Amazon, but then the guy on Amazon knew who we were, so he texted me and said, hey, sorry, they're on back order, but if you want to pick them up, you can pick them up. So here I am picking them up. Let's go see what Beck's up to. You're not back. What? There I'm you back. are. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so excited to have a new face in the office today. <laughs> Lee works with us on our tea company, Chai Walla, and we've got lots and lots of goodies going on, good things going on. So uh, yeah, been fun, hasn't it? What do we got going on? Well, um, we have a Mother's Day special that Too everyone has already now. missed. Yeah, um, but we're revamping our website. We're doing all sorts of cool stuff. So you guys should definitely check out chaiwallachai.com. Not yet. The website is, the website's not live. Well, no. pre... Uh, well, check it out anyway. <laughs> check it out for the old so that when it's new, you can see the new. And uh, today we are going to be installing some new windows. So the windows we're putting in are two back bunk windows on either side. That's going to be beautiful for our little bedroom, a little bit of cross ventilation throughout the night. Uh, also, just to kind of keep an eye on things if you want to pop your head out the window and say, Hey, buddy, what are you doing standing here? I'm trying to sleep. I don't know. I've never put a window in to a van before, so. 
Let's see how that goes. So although it sounds intimidating to cut a hole and put a window in your van, it actually doesn't look that complicated. And if you guys want to pick one of these up, we will leave an Amazon link below. Just be aware, they are not cheap windows. And given how expensive they are, you would think they could print you a template on the box they give you, but they don't. So basically, you gotta flip the window down. Well, that's gonna get in my way. Give me one sec, I'm just gonna figure out how I'm gonna do this. So I just quickly made a template measuring. This is just over 33 and it's just over 10. So I don't want to make it too tight and force it because there is room around the edge. Looks pretty good. And you got a template. Map out where you want it and let's get cutting. Sunset burning on the golden shore. Never seen oh, nothing these things are like not this easy before. To remove. The stars they shine like diamonds in your eyes. Black dress on you got me hypnotized. I keep feeling now that we got the template taped up where we want it, semi straight to the lines in the van. Don't use a level because your car might be off, your van might be off. Uh, I'm going to fire some holes through, some pin holes on each side, so then I know exactly where the template's going on the other side. Tape it up, cut it up, boom, we got a window. In theory. Fire the hole. Dancing underneath the champagne stars You make me feel like I'm forever young Cause you're my only one Woo! You make me this feel thing so like fire. The window has been windowed. And it's, oh, hey. Did you just put a hole in the van without me? Where you been, dude? <laughs> Working, you could have called me. I did a pretty good job. What, what can I take your order? Now I saw in Max last vlog, it took him six tries. <laughs> take two, take three. This is gonna be it, take four, take five. Are you starting to feel pretty silly if you bet on me on the first go? <laughs> I'm not shooting any shots. I'm just saying, what do you think, Beck? I think it's gonna fit. Hundred <laughs> 100%. 100%! <laughs> Don't worry, Max. Give me a call anytime. I'll show you some pointers. <laughs> The hole is it's a little too big. big. <laughs> That's big. not okay. This is your side of the bed, then. No, no, it's gonna be Gucci. Do you, maybe you need the frame thingy? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping this will just make it work. Just make sure the window doesn't. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure the window doesn't fall out. Hold it like that, yeah. It's all good, pop it up. Window's gonna work, beauty. I'm gonna clean it up, gonna file it down. And then I might add a little gasket on the bottom just to help lift it up so it's more balanced in the middle. You just making this up as you go or what? Yeah, totally. <laughs>
Max, I apologize. Look, <laughs> I apologize. I spoke too early. I screwed up. It's a little big. So what I'm thinking is I've got some of this silicone tube lying around. Another project. Another story for another time. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna cut it, and that'll just sit like that as a gasket. So this window might even be extra waterproof. I reckon this is, I reckon, you know what I reckon? <laughs> Tell I reckon me, what do you reckon? See how Lawrence is gonna watch this video and go, you know what, Eamon? Our engineering department couldn't even think of that. That is such a brilliant way to seal a window. You're hired. And are you gonna take the job if it means moving across the country? For and... CL Lawrence? Yeah, I would. <laughs> You guys are probably like, Eamon, you went to the hardware store again and you didn't buy paint. What do you think, guys? I think it's nice. It's pro. I think we paid like over $400 Canadian for this window. For each window, too. For we each got one. Two. Yeah. So, so you wouldn't recommend this window? No. C.R. Lawrence. Eamon. <laughs> Eamon. <laughs> well, as you can tell, Eamon's in a mood. We didn't even end up using my gusset. Yeah. After See, have a look at this, Bob. I got you. I, I got to get now, you on my level. Why you're struggling with the screws? Look, there's not even holes here, man. It just goes into this like metal slot. It's not even drilled out. Ever a dull moment. Wow, well, this is sunshine. Reason number one hundred and one: Why you should always have a female on the job site. She takes the time to read the instructions. So while I was holding the other window up. I read this part that said, if you don't have a template, use a cardboard cut to match hole for window. He wasn't going based on the holes. So we've solved the problem. It's almost about a quarter inch that we have to take off all the way around. And uh, we're working on that now, but I just thought I'd let you know. That's why you keep a lady around. Because the hole was a little bit too big, it's not a massive deal because the seal does fit around the entire space, but I'm just worried that eventually it might start to sag. So just a little two by four. I don't think she's going anywhere, but just for good measure. Windows installed. Nice job, baby. Good work. Uh... Are we doing a second window still? <laughs> second time's always easier, right? I knew this location was gonna be bad news. <laughs> Now the bundle for four makes sense because we have actually four people here, so bon appetit. <laughs> hey, good evening. It's uh, Bob Fitzgerald from Chihuahua, and uh, you called wanting to know if we sell in the United States. And, and do we? By golly, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I gotta be honest with you guys. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. What? Your reaction earlier was a little much? I mean, maybe. I haven't watched it back yet. <laughs> but <laughs> it's hard to say which one I prefer now because that one you cut too big and I was worried it wasn't gonna fit and I had to brace it to kind of keep it up. Yeah. But I, it was way easier to put in. I didn't film any of this and I totally understand where you're coming from, Max. I cut this one too short and I had to keep shaving and shaving and shaving because I was paranoid I was going to do the same thing from last time. <laughs> and this was a total nightmare. Right. So you asked me to do windows for you, I'm going to say no. <laughs> After some blood, sweat, and swear words, <laughs> we've got two new bunker windows. Really looking forward to the cross breeze, the cross breeze. Cool. That looks sweet, dude. Windows, baby. Should we see you tomorrow? I feel like uh, I'll be in a bit more of an energetic vibe. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for sticking through those window builds. Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a nice sleep. <laughs> Welcome to our new tiny house. Yeah, we love our tiny apartment. This is the Airbnb that we're renting just down the street from our office. Starting the morning off with some chai and maybe a little smoothie. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Dang it. That's classic. I'm not used um, to having a storage unit. Come on. You're the one that uses the storage unit and never cleans it. Where's the cup I gave you this morning? It's by my bed. Hey, quit following me around. <laughs> Beck and I are lucky enough to be ambassadors for our favorite supplement company, Viva Life. I'm sure you've seen us or heard us talk about them before. And we drink their smoothies, we take their supplements every single day. And if you want to try it out, you can try it with the code Amen and Beck. You get 10% off. They're an amazing company. That's enough about them. Do you want a smoothie? Smoothie, please. And my B12, actually. Smoothie? Smoothie and B12. Best taste in B12 on the market, baby. <laughs> Heading into the office to get some van building done. And today we really wanna get everything sorted so that everything is prepped for insulation tomorrow, which means just bits and bobs. And we also wanna work on our overhead storage compartment area, which I think is like a must in van stuff. So. The only downgrade with not downgrade, but thing you need to be aware of when you're spray foaming is that you can't really yep. redo it, right? So right. it's very, very permanent. You want to make sure everything's 100%. We're not taking the car today, right? No. So guys, we made it to the office and we've quickly got very distracted with Chai Walla work. Good morning, Bob. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're actually working on new packaging and to get the right size bags, we have a whole bunch of samples, but we need something a little bit more customized. So we're gonna cut, seal, retape, try and make a bag the right size, and then once we have the dimensions, we'll send it off to the printer. What are you working on? Just some emails and contracts and all that kind of good stuff. We'll get to the van in a bit. Well, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't paying attention to the word refund on here, and I thought it was all good customer choice. I sent one guy to build one order. Oh, yeah. And he got an email. I sent him an email saying, forget that. Make it. some room. Just cut loose. Come on, shake what your mama made. Don't be shy. Feel this high. When we're dancing the night away. No so that, that's what the size of the opening would be. No one's got your side. A little sneak peek of the new kilo bag. It's going to be on craft though. Oh, All right, we're fed. We finished our work. Now it's time to do some van building. We're finished our work. Now we're down for some more work. More work. This is physical labor. We're going to be framing in these new windows we put in just with some wood like so. Pretty easy because we're insulating tomorrow, so got to get that done. Did you call the paint department yet? I think we're going to... I think she's... I think she's graduated to the table saw only. The miter saw, you mean? Yeah, miter saw. You're on paint. <laughs> Like in hindsight, I should have dropped the window a little bit to get away from this framing because I got I had to notch every single little piece out. So anyway, that's gonna be our window sill. I'm gonna try and install it kind of where it is with glue and nails, and then send it to the paint department. Hey. The paint shop has been busy. What have you been up to, bud? This is our water fill. So this has got to be mounted. I, I figured we do this before we insulate. It's got to go on a flat surface, otherwise it'll be kind of inviting water into the crack. Um, essentially, I spent too much time trying to get a template. I got a template. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to figure out where I want this on the inside first, because I'm very limited to this area and then I'll fire two holes in, and then I'll come around the other side and I'll place this on the other side and that's gonna be exactly where I wanted it from the inside. Trace it out, fire it up, install. Money in the bank! Wow, look at that fit. Woo! Looks good, bud.
Well, biggest piece of advice, if you're scared of hard work, don't build a van. <laughs> probably terrifying for people that are thinking about buying the van. <laughs> Don't want. let it terrify you. Yeah. Shout out to Bob who's been working really, really hard getting all of those wonderful packages out to you and responding to all your emails about our trash. I don't know about a shout out, right? I think that the shout out to the post office. They're working really hard 24-7 to try and get your packages to you as fast as possible. The good news is, everyone seems to think the tea is worth the wait. Isn't that your line, Bob? Absolutely. Happy <laughs> sipping, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow.